Welcome, welcome to the CutterCast Vlogcast. My name is Seth Larson, and on today's episode, we are recapping the final day that we chased Thunder Chickens in Southeast Kansas with 180 Outdoors. Some of us may have had success, others of us may not have, but we had a blast. Share a lot of laughs on this episode, and I think you're going to thoroughly enjoy it. Remember that shortly after these episodes drop, we are coming out with the video of this hunt. So make sure to keep an eye on the Canvas Cutter YouTube channel for that. And also, if you are interested in going on a really fun turkey hunt or whitetail hunt or waterfowl hunt, look up 180 Outdoors, five-star facility, five-star properties, five-star guides, you'll love it. Without further ado, here is our final recap, our day three recap, Southeast Kansas chasing gobblers with 180 Outdoors. Our game to where they do. Terry. That's, that's a lot involved. Yeah. <laughs> it's been All right. Nice. Welcome to the Cutter Cast <laughs> vlog cast. Today is the third and final day of our trip. We roll out tomorrow morning. Well, it's currently 12 it o'clock, <laughs> and we roll out in three and a half hours. So that's oh. good. Um, but we wanted and need to quickly recap this day, maybe take uh, end with our takeaways from the trip. But I did realize that we never did introductions on the first one. So I know this is the third episode from the trip, but maybe can we go around and do a quick introduction of like your name and kind of your role with Favorite Canvas color. Cutter? Favorite what? animal? Favorite color? Um, let's animal? just keep it to our name and kind of our role with Canvas Cutter so the audience knows that. When we get into the deeper questions on maybe another personal We'll, we'll do cutter cast. We'll I like that. You can do a Q and A. <laughs> yeah, later. yeah. We'll do we'll do individual Q and As for an episode. Yeah. And we can get into your feelings well, and unicorns. Dude, let's and, fire it up. That's a good idea. Why don't we have Corey start? Let's have Corey yeah, start. I'll start. So my name is Corey Tams. Um, I was recently brought on to Canvas Cutter to help out with some social media and then also some uh, filming and photography. Um, I really got my toes wet at the expo with you yeah. guys. Yeah, and super did awesome. And some filming edit. around the expo and the booth and stuff. And they've been nice enough to let me drive a camera for this trip. And You're it's natural, been a good dude. Time. You're natural. You I'm are. enjoying it, it's really. It's been fun to watch you in the field and well, figure out shots. I mean, I, super I appreciate it, but we're also using the right gear, and it's if, so forgiving. If you've you know? seen any of our recent reels videos, yeah. they're this man. Yeah. They're I'm pretty sweet. I'm trying to crank out they're some awesome. good reels. And yeah. Social some, media manager, videographer, Swiss Army knife. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of everything. So He's going to do some design work for us. He's going to do us. some product design for yeah, us. So yeah, we're super we're awesome. We're working on a couple of good stuff. I'm, I'm yeah. going to start putting them the into it. hush hush. Yeah, yes. Just got a couple good things. He yeah. even just really got a tick out of special crevices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but start. yeah, it, so it'll be a little bit of everything with you guys, and I'm excited about it. So Yeah, we're stoked to and have you. And an actual little tidbit. He's my brother in law. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Super special. K Shea. Okay, my name is Schaefer Summers. I am the COO, and so I do daily operations and herd cats, i.e. the rest of the boys. And I would not consider myself a cat, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, I find that offensive. Maybe a lion? Dogs. Yeah, Pretty yeah, a lion. <laughs> Definitely a lion, king of the pack. Maya. I believe so. I don't have much more. My name is John Tanner. Tanner. Um, CBO. I what the heck am, is a CBO? I'm a Leo. <laughs> so I actually am a cat. <laughs> Damn lion. Me too. Why don't um, you tell folks what a CBO is? Uh, Chief and put Randy your mic officer. closer to your mic or to your I mouth. I just talk softly. Carry a big stick. So soft. <laughs> Chief branding officer. And, uh, Which is kind of a big deal. Yeah, so if you uh, see content, if you see hats, shirts, products, pretty much, and you're like, "Hey, the brand. that is durable, high quality, timeless." Of it's that way because he's making sure it stays that way. We've kind of John stays on some it. good ones this trip. We do yeah. have some new ones that might be coming. Yeah, down we pipe. we do have some new products coming down the pipeline that is and exciting. He, he speaks broken Mandarin too. He does. Very very broken. Who does? <clears throat> John does. 
John speaks no Mandarin. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa. Speaks Whoa. Whoa, Jason. My, uh, Twelve-year-old speaks Jason, very good Mandarin. Jason, I have a whole Mandarin. secret life. You Does know. she? Oh, no. then As she's, EJ's. Yeah, she's in a dual immersion program. So if you really do know Chinese, it'd be awesome to see she, you she. talk. <laughs> about it. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> I read broken. Okay, Mandarin. Jason. Oh, next. Jason, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Jason Gruber, and I'm the CFO. Nerd. So, yep, nerd alert, <laughs> dude. dude. Wizard on the spreadsheets. Ha- hashtag like. spreadsheet wizard. It, it, he, yeah, he help launder all the money. Just kidding. He's so good. <laughs> like it's you want to figure out some weird statistic and all these numbers with all these different factors. You just tell him, give him the idea, and then give him about twenty four hours, and he'll come back with a 30 layer 37 layered <laughs> spreadsheet That's awesome. that will yeah, calculate that, everything I'm pretty much i'm confident that he can do anything any role yeah yeah jason can pretty much so it's way more than do anything still nerd alert though so nerd. that's fine i'm cool with it and ej um my name's ej and i am the i guess the chief marketing officer mm-hmm. so i'm in charge of all the marketing and uh, bringing sales to the to the company yeah so and ej's ej's been doing that since 2017 just now on a yeah. much more official role yeah it's been time i've never time. met anybody more passionate about what they do than ej and marketing like, when he talks about different things <laughs> it's true like we've got some things coming up the you know in the pipeline as far as marketing is concerned that are pretty cool but i see his eyes light up and yeah he cool. always gets excited <laughs> he's like guys <laughs> so there's you. this really cool um, beta feature that we're <laughs> and I try to, like, stay right with wait him, beta fish I'm so glad ej does marketing oh, as good. a hobby on his spare time that's <laughs> yeah. when you know yeah. someone that's loves. when you know they're passionate. Now, now he's a stone cold turkey killer. Stone cold yeah. turkey killer, baby. I think I think Straight we've up. created a monster. Yeah, I yeah, think I was already a monster. And, and you just kind of unleashed me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he drove yeah. out of state the last two days because he tagged out in the first ten minutes of the opening morning here. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he, in needed Oklahoma. To, he needed yeah. to keep it alive. And he's been driving to Oklahoma the last two mornings. So, which is awesome. Him. And this afternoon, yeah, that's been. You awesome. went this afternoon as well. An hour and a half to hunt a half hour. Let's yeah. start. Let's I start there. Really yeah. How did it go? Too. Also, Seth. I mean, no, they already yeah. know me. I am the host of the Cutter Cast. Seth, Seth Larson, CEO, he is the, the man of Canvas Cutter. How and did one of the founders? <laughs> feral cat how did oklahoma go dude oklahoma was it was awesome it's so beautiful over there i do have to like make a slight correction because yesterday i was talking about the eighteen thousand square feet yeah um in which there's a bunch of different plots and different pot, plots have been sold and different stuff so the total um it actually that property we're on was more like 1800 Acres. Oh, acres. Uh, acres. Yeah. Still a big chunk acres. of ground though. Still is yes. awesome. Yeah. You sold us. Um, you sold us. Yeah. But it was it's still giant. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Acres. And yeah, it's, that's a big chunk. piece of and property. It's, it's crazy how the terrain changes between, you know, just you know, an hour down the road. Yeah. Um, you know, getting to way more hilly areas and things like that. And it's just it was just really cool. Um but we got in and you know, heard turkeys gobbling all over the place uh, this morning and found, a, you know, five jakes just kind of roaming around, beating up on the old man. And so they shut him up pretty quick and we never... I think that Locke, is so. Cr- I still yeah. think that's so crazy that they do that. They gave up that on like a posse yeah. of Jakes that's will go after a Tom and like kick him out of the country. It's pretty yeah. gangster. It yeah, is. It is. Yeah, it's pretty right. crazy. But yeah, it was cool. Yeah, we saw. It. Yeah, I I thought we were, we had one in the bag this morning, really, because we had a hen pitch down like right right where we were at. Um, we heard you know all over the place, um, and those the group of jakes just kind of went the opposite way around us, and then into the the giant pasture right by that house, and. Um, so we kind of followed them a little bit, but you know, the, the Tom, I think, 
I think they chased him out and they were kind of following him around and stuff. So, mm. but still, it was just awesome just to be on the property, yeah. to experience that. Like tonight, I was talking, um, now who was I talking to? It, oh, it was uh, Kyle. It was just, it was cooler tonight. Mm-hmm. It, I felt like the humidity kind of yeah, like let off down. a bit. I felt like that um, too. And I just was sitting there underneath those trees and just, it, just the experience. I just love being outside. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And so just like the chirp, you know, the wind, just the light wind coming through. The All the birds, birds kind yeah. of singing. Yeah. And, um, you know, and we ended up did hear some goblin and stuff like that, which kind of got us excited. But it was, it was just serene. Yeah, it you really know? is. And this property is like an abandoned property. And... It's one of the most beautiful pieces of the property I've ever seen. Sounds like it's not going to be so. abandoned for too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'll adopt that. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to squat on yeah. it. <laughs> EJ's going to go squat. But, no, it was cool, man. And this whole experience has just been phenomenal for me. Uh, first time turkey hunting. You know, it's my first real hunt. Hunt, like yeah. actually killing something. Um, and so it's it was cool. It's awesome. You're going to get your yeah. bird mounted and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And it's a good bird ma- to mount, too. Yeah, You got is. a stud. Great yeah. bird. It was, so. did, you, did you feel any buck fever when you were about to shoot? I did not. Um, Dude, he, cool he's a cucumber. That's he's a he's, but, that's he's a military, military training. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, it Killed was, the asset. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he shot it between heartbeats. <laughs> <laughs> Probably yeah. midair, too. Like, yeah. <laughs> jumped. <laughs> No, dude, that that's like it wasn't full strut. He was just showing off. I just no, it was it was good. Just put my bead right on him and tagged him and bagged him. <laughs> Boom, you know, yeah. just like they train you. But awesome. it was good. That's awesome. Mm. John, so Jason, how'd your sweet day redemption? Go? Sweet, fantastic, sweet. 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 So good. listen, baby, we will to go on with what EJ was saying. This morning we went into an awesome field. That had like taller wheat grass, or I guess wheat, right? Wheat. Yeah, wheat. So it was up to, I don't know, almost our thighs. It was like a car wash for our legs. It was <laughs> so wet. That's the perfect but, description. Yeah. That so we went thing. in, of course, when it was dark, didn't hear anything, stayed there for a little bit. Then coming out, though, the sun had just started coming up. And you have these perfect rolling hills just going on forever in the wheat, and it was sweet. Like I was it looking looked amazing. at my feet. I don't think I saw that. Did well, you, you should have. Should have looked up. It was <laughs> awesome. Gladiator. I know what you're talking about. Or yes, I remember. Yeah, where he walks to. I was, okay. I was literally holding my shotgun like this. I was holding my shotgun like this, doing that with the grass. It was sweet. Just like <laughs> and then I told him, it ruins your shotgun. Sweet <laughs> no, it does It's fine. It's fine. Um, then we went to a new property and... What do you mean by new, John? This was a new property to us. And I don't think any, uh, no one has hunted I mean, on it yet. you guys went to like seven new properties. No. No, they didn't. They we went, went to, to one multiple times, then went to a new, new one, then went we to went this to one. we went to four total. Okay, four. So Bring this was a, this was a property we hadn't been to yet. And we basically immediately saw some turkeys, so. Well, no one had been to it yet. Yeah, our spirits were high. We understood. Oh, yeah, you did say that it was the creme de la creme. Yeah, so we pulled up. It's kind of a field that had been flooded, so kind of washed out. And we started walking, and there's a little choke point to go into the next field. And that's where we wanted to cross. We're not crossing the widest part of the field. But as soon as we started crossing, we spotted some turkeys that also spotted us. So They were ways off. I mean, they were... Dude, their eyesight's insane. They were like, they had to have been like 250 insane. yards away from us. I think further, probably. But yeah, they saw us, took off up the hill. So we made a game plan to try and get on them. Yeah. So they went across, disappeared five feet into the brush. And then we basically went all the way up. And this one actually had a decent amount of incline. But it was really cool, very wooded. Went all the way up, went up top. Made some calls, didn't hear anything, then came all the way back down over to this side. And at that point, it looked like our best. So when we came all the way back down, we were kind of back to the 
big field area and we went to kind of a different choke point we figured okay let's call from there so we set up the decoys um and started calling mind you if you've been watching these podcasts we had yet to hear a, a gobble. gobble yeah day three we hadn't heard a, go- a, lot, a, of a lot of turtles a lot of snakes a lot of turtles mm-hmm. yes yeah so anyways we set up the decoys and our guide um tyson just started making some calls and i think he did what two maybe yeah probably two and we heard a faint gobble which is like a big deal a ways out you're like I was we like, okay, it. we're good. We Let's it. go home. We're, we're ready to go. go. I heard the call. We can go home now. All right. <laughs> uh, that's honestly kind of how it felt. Um, <clears throat> but then, so we stayed tight. But I should say, we set up those decoys in the field, and we were facing those. And the gobble came from behind us. The gobble came from behind. And it was like instantly pretty close. So we felt like there was no way for us to turn around or essentially move. maneuver. So we were like kind of stuck and, but you know, kept making the calls. They were already getting closer. And at one point, like we're sitting there and we could hear, cause we're not moving. We could hear them stepping like behind us, like probably 15 yards. And at that point I was like, yeah, are there they was gonna a little, come through us? There was a little berm behind us that went up and over. With the fence. So we could hear them walking behind us. We stayed super still. My leg went numb. Couldn't feel my butt <laughs> crack. <laughs> Until you got bit. Um, yeah. But we were, we were determined to make it happen, so we were making sacrifices. <laughs> and then, True. so they kept going behind us. And we were sitting really still waiting. We were hoping they would swing around and see the decoys and come out in front of us, but they never did. So they kind of moved back and they continued to gobble. I think they gobbled a couple more times. And then Tyson just said, okay, turn around. So we slowly turned around and Jason, you got on him first. I couldn't see him. Yeah, John was kind of like behind a bigger tree. I was just in like a little chair. So I was able to turn around quicker. My leg was and, numb, so it was a little and like so it was Honestly, dragging behind you as you turned around. As soon as I turned around, though, I could see like this much of the head, part of the neck. So I could see some in the distance, but like barely, right? And it was probably at that point around forty-five yards ish. Um, forty-two. Forty-two. <laughs> and anyways, so but we would only heard one gobble, so we had no idea. If there's one bird or three, and we'd, we'd seen the three to begin with when they crossed the field. So anyways, I was watching, but where I was looking through, there was like, I could see its head and it would gobble it extended out and it'd go between like these two trees way out in the distance. And so I did not have what I would consider a very good shot at all, but I was waiting, but he was not moving. He was just kept staying there and I'm trying to communicate with Tyson our guide, who's still facing that way, he felt like he couldn't move. Just like saying, hey, you know, like. It's now or turn never. Around. Yeah. Well, he's telling us, like, you can go, you can go. Anyways, I ended up moving over, like, maybe four feet. And I had a better view. At that point, John had moved. And he had a good view. But we were both looking at different birds. Thought it was the same bird. Um, anyways, I shoot. And, uh, <laughs> well, it is funny though. Let's be honest. And I'm I wish I would have saw it. <laughs> I'm a bit of an amateur. I don't think most of you know this, but I'll tell you. So I'm sitting there and this was a very awkward position, by the way. Like I'm trying to go super slow, super slow. I got in this position and I'm kind of like aiming over this fence next to a tree. Cause I don't have like a huge shooting lane. So I'm not like positioned all that great. <laughs> Well, before that, though, so he's on this bird, and then he said, I can't find it, and then all of a sudden, I see one poke its head out, and so I have a shot of, like, the neck and above, but I had the 20 gauge, and I thought it might be a little too far, so I said, hey, give me the gun, because I thought it Which, just moved over. And No, at first, you said, show me the gun, and I'm like, and I'm like, no, I said, I'm, 
I yes, said, let me just, see the can, gun. Can, oh, yeah, can let you me see? see I'm, I'm showing it right and now. Thought, <laughs> just look. Just look oh at the gun. And how it's, about it's like, right here. Look. It's got <laughs> this <laughs> finish on it. <laughs> see this action? It's got an action. It's an automatic. Legitimately, though, I thought you were, like, checking to make sure I take the No, I was saying, let me see the gun. Like, safety's off. I can see the turkey. Give me the damn gun because I'm going to put it down. But I didn't realize he was also looking at a turkey. So he's like, no, I, I have a shot. Yeah. So that's where. But when I had moved from this side to here, I think there was a little bit of change in the turkey. Because, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it looked exactly the same. <laughs> His gender. There was still <laughs> probably, probably, was a, probably the same turkey. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they were playing musical chairs. On. Back to my positioning. Not great. Okay. And I have not done a ton of shooting in my life, nor consistently. Anyways, so to get in this weird position, I kind of had like arch my shoulders back a little. And I was like right on it, but I shoot and uh, <laughs> yep. head over heels. <laughs> 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 I hadn't, I hadn't mentioned that yet. So literally, I fell, up, I fell up it back, roll back over, and at that point, I'm He's just <laughs> unloading the clip as he falls back. <laughs> what? I know. I know. It would have been so oh, my and wonderful. But I didn't see it, and I shot like a half second after yeah, he did it mine. So I didn't even see him By the time I rolled back up, I see one bird taking off that way, another bird that way, and I was like, Whatever. I've like totally, I've totally missed the shot. And I felt like an idiot. I rolled over. I've seen so many of those like Instagram reels or YouTube videos where oh people just get rocked. It was like legitimately toddlers, though. But I've seen them get yeah. all 88 year old women. But legitimately, like, I knew it was going to have kick, obviously, right? But like, I felt like I couldn't position or do anything more. But no, yeah. To be fair, I've, I mean, I've had that same thing yeah. in the marsh hunting ducks. It's, it's yeah. so much about stance and balance. <laughs> yeah. And they pack a punch. They if you're do, off a dude. Bit, <laughs> they they do. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. This is way off talk, topic, but nothing packs more of a punch than a, a loaded down muzzle loader with 150 grains and a ramrod at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jace, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Let me clear off the big seat. Oh. Yeah. That's amazing. So he, he knows a little bit about kick. Yeah, he, knows kick. <laughs> he knows some kick. And they're uh, kicked by an elephant. But, so you oh see the birds man. take off. We see the birds out. take off. Take off. There's and a fence there, so I drag my numb leg over it. <laughs> and like, at that point, Tyson's like, you know, let's John's like, him. Tyson, will you throw my leg over? <laughs> and mind you, Tyson, though, I, I was taking my sweet time. I wanted to make a good shot, all that. So before I shot, he was just like, shoot the bird, like, shoot it. Go. Shoot. Yeah, and I was saying, Kill shoot. I said, been, if you see he's it, He's been shoot. fighting to get us on <laughs> something, and I'm yeah. taking my time. But, like, he doesn't see the, like, position I'm in, let alone, like, I honestly did not know if 45, 50 yards was too far. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. So, it's a stretch. Well, yeah. Tyson assured him. It'll kill it. Yeah. 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 Sure so, enough, it did. We walked up. <laughs> dead as a bird. Now. Dead bird. The one had flown... I one guess flew two right, flew, one flew, left. one flew right, one flew left. And I thought the one I had shot at flew left, so I went up the hill after it, but to no avail. So we came back down. It had yep. one of the biggest beards we've ever seen. What was it? 23 inches? 23 centimeters. So. <laughs> 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 Millimeters. Oh, it was a uh, so it turned Jimmy out it was Jake. a Jake, but Which, after uh, the wait, hey, two okay, days we no had. No shame in the game. No dude. shame no, in Jake. Dude. It's so your first turkey, eh? And it's an older Jake, yeah. so... Yeah, he was yeah, right. Was, was he was transitioning into manhood, so... Yeah. <laughs> we call him Jacob. <laughs> we call him Jacob. Yeah. But, no, Quite it was a good bird. I'm, I'm totally bird. stoked to get it, and... Uh, yeah, got some redemption. Boss crazy day. experience. A lot of adrenaline. Last Very day. Exciting. The fact that you guys had a Last chance day. on a twofer, though, is exciting. Threefer. Threefer. Yeah. Had yes. no. That far away, my spread could have... Sometimes you just got to. Uh, well, I won't say that. It's inappropriate. <laughs> Anyways, it was good, awesome. Good control. <laughs> Very awesome finish to pretty much the our hunt. week. Yeah. yeah, yeah, our day. So cleared up sweet. a little bit of a bad attitude we had and moved. It's been on. rough. Yeah, yeah. No, we've been having a lot of fun, but it was rough to no, not we hear. Had some, uh, <laughs> wild Kansas. 
turkey breast. <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. I'm going to deep yeah. fry them. Smoke up. Home. Ooh, yeah. Are you going to deep fry them? Oh, yeah. I've been trying to think. Of, I need to look up a good recipe for mine. Them. I was going to smoke them. I know, but they're so they're so lean. Yeah. I think you know, no, I've, I've I think if you smoking them, uh, yeah, there's some awesome them. recipes. Oh, a sausage with you them. Do a them. sausage because you can cut it with some pork fat. And See, well, I know, I know some turkey sausage. Some folks say like it's not good, but. John's John's little brother Matt smoked one a couple years ago, like he shot it, and then we we got it, and he just took the breasts out, filleted them up, and grilled them oh, yeah. in some butter. Dude, it was delish. Like in a pan, yeah. in a in a pan on top of the yeah, stove top, that's what I've heard. in butter, mm-hmm. salt, and pepper. That nice. was it. Mm-hmm. It's and it it's it was be it was more eat, like it was right? more like chicken than your butterball turkey. Nice. What but do you mean he filleted? Like he made like he took this. Yeah, he took the breast and cut it into yeah, like mm. slices. They're hanging slices. down on like alfalfa, daddy lions, and stuff and like that. And ticks and good, grasshoppers. Out here, I think yeah. they're hitting out <laughs> ticks and caterpillars and grasshoppers. Are we going to get that Lone Star disease by eating this turkey? We might. Our tongues are all freaking. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. How was your guys' day? Pretty uh, unremarkable. Well, that's not true. What was the morning like? We had a like? really good. We had a good plan this morning, and we had Big Al, who was awesome. Um, yeah, Big Al subbed in for Locke, and kind of so Locke like gave him the rundown of where to go, where to take us, and kind of like caught him up to speed. Yeah. And you were able to take the RV out. We took the yeah. RV yeah, out. Yeah, cruise America, baby. <laughs> yeah, we did cruise the Americas. Um, got down to a spot where we felt like you know was going to be our best opportunity. We obviously knew where these turkeys were roosting. And the day before they had pitched out to the side that we were on this morning, the day before that, they seemed to have pitched out the same side, right? So we thought, well, they're going to pitch out this way. And so we got there, got decoys set up, had a little bit of scrambling between places we wanted to sit down the first spot we sat down we felt like we were too far down in a hole didn't have like the best vantage so we hurried and ran across the field got into another tree line and it was money i was stoked on but it for before that we the reason we sat down in the low spot was we heard two gobbles like legitimately if you're looking at a clock a gobble at six o'clock and a gobble yeah. at three o'clock and oh, sorry, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, and three o'clock. <laughs> it's it was like, if, if you're looking late. at a different clock, <laughs> it's, it's, like, like, <laughs> where it's three yeah, and nine. Nine o'clock <laughs> and three o'clock, and they were sounded exactly the same distance away. And yeah. it was like, okay, plop down, and we sat down, and that was kind of like we only sat there because it was just like in the middle of them. And then we realized that's ah, a little too low, so we had to resituate a little bit. Yeah, and it was they, they were gobbling far enough off that we felt like we had some time to hurry and resituate, so we did. And uh, sat there for a few hours. Yeah, we got an update at like 7 o'clock. You guys were both asleep. Yeah, I, I heard you both I were snored. asleep. I didn't know I, didn't know I snored. <laughs> I heard there were turkeys everywhere, and Big Al was like, guys, wake up. And you guys were just asleep. <laughs> I, just so, I mean, it's not completely true, but there's some truth to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, Corey was for sure asleep. I didn't know. Uh-huh. I didn't know. Wait, <laughs> Corey, okay, Corey wait. was asleep. Okay. That's weird. Corey's <laughs> also the only person who had three naps on the drive here <laughs> that were. I don't. I so, had a nap every day. I don't yeah. Oh yeah, it's like a solid yeah. nap. Yeah, too. Like, solid yeah, he's nap. an alpha sleeper. He's good, four or five I hours mean, a piece. A good <laughs> <wrong boy. laughs> so what's let's quickly so we can go to bed for two hours. Let's do a recap. Like what's what's your takeaways? Let's do a quick takeaways things. Might be fast. We're, oh, we're go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead. So Schaefer and I were talking about it, and we were kind of like. So it, realistically, it's kind of weird for Schaefer and I to even go on a hunt like with a guide because we're so yeah. used to doing. Just, I think all of us, really. yeah, all yeah. of us. That could, yeah. that could apply to everybody First. on this trip, but it's it was like we go together quite often. We jump out of the truck and we just go do our own thing. That's our game plan. Like we just go and do it. And we were kind of talking. We're like, man, it is kind of weird, like having a guy there and having a third opinion. It's like it could get kind of sticky in some places, but it was. But we were talking about it, it's like. That was the exact opposite because we would not have learned like one tenth of the stuff that we learned yep. about turkeys yeah. without having Locke there, without having Big Al, without having Matt even 
open my phone and go to Onyx and be like, drop a pin. They're roosting here and they're they're gonna gobble here. And like it was flawless. And yeah. so just the amount of knowledge, you know, just overall turkey knowledge because we've had so many like turkey hunts back home that it's like almost so random the success that we can't build a pattern off of it and so we still are just kind of like chasing our tail when we go out yeah. here it's like okay this is what's supposed to happen in a good situation it works out like this and we just we learned it dude the turkeys but, back home oh, are not gonna know it hit them yeah no it's, they don't i, I can't I've wait a, i can't wait i've we, got a slate call now i've got the cadence <laughs> that works like we got till may 31st oh and gosh, some toms are hitting the, the ground buddy home, yeah. tags are getting trouble. punched <laughs> amen <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go home and rock their world. We've been out here yeah. for three days learning from guys that have been doing it since they were yeah three years old. Yeah. So Jason, that, that what was my takeaway too? Just go the ahead. amount of knowledge and, and the experience. Like you had mentioned, you know, mm-hmm. kind of the birds and the just like just taking it all in. That for me, like no bird, whatever, it doesn't matter. The, what we learned, got to hunt with him for three days, got killer footage. So yeah, we're going to share that with you guys. Amazing. Yeah, we got some it's, awesome content. We got so yeah, much to watch. Too. So anyway, it's yeah, so. I just, uh, I'm all about the experience. I would love to have killed a bird, but at the end of the day, it was such an awesome trip. Yeah. So good. Jason? Um, well, ironically, I swear, just like an hour ago, I was telling you, John, I was like, man, like we learned a bunch this trip. Like, yeah, we had a couple rough days, but we were still going through the motions doing like learning what we were supposed to be doing right from tyson yeah what you learned we learned perseverance we learned some patience (laughs) endure to the end i I keep trying to put myself in your guys shoes of like coming back to the lodge it's like they will go yeah everybody's talking about all of us are talking about hearing gobbles everyone's like like, telling these stories there's a couple holes in the sheet they were getting getting pretty salty they were yeah we saw four turtles (laughs) (laughs) that's what they would always say we saw like we saw some turtles yeah, the second day frog after frog. like no turkeys and walking 11 miles was a little rough. I it is rough. I don't blame you at all. all. Yeah, picking Sounds, ticks off. That's and hard. Like a Utah turkey hunt. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, just we learned a ton, and uh, I hadn't thought of it and that idea of like having a guide, just because yeah. I kind of figured yeah. I'd have help anyways, not knowing a whole lot about yeah. turkeys. But um, it was sweet. It was really really helpful. Learned a ton. Yeah. Um, ditto Tyson's a stud yep he put Big a lot Al helped us too that yeah. first day which is sweet he put a lot of time in f- walking around Tyson with us Tyson took it personal yeah. Yeah. yeah he did he, he was did. straight up like he was he, he was yeah and he helped he us was, get it done so it's yep. good it was good I, we learned I have, a lot from it I have three takeaways that I've been thinking about like all day well the one started so Matt was taking us out and just dropping us off the first day we did that. Yeah. Because we've killed turkeys before. Right. And I've called them in. And then hearing, hearing Locke and Matt call that one day at lunch, I was just like, I don't know how to call (laughs) (laughs) like at all. Like at all. I even went and put my (laughs) diaphragm in my mouth and I literally couldn't make a turkey sound. I was just like, I don't, I can't call anymore. Yeah. I can't call anymore. <laughs> so uh, anyways, so the ne- that evening when he picked us up, I told him we've hunted turkeys before and we've killed turkeys, but we're not hardcore turkey hunters. Yeah. And he's like, well, would you be okay if I came out with you? Like, I hate sitting around at the lodge. I don't want to offend you though. And my dad's like, oh yeah, we're so offended now. Like, I was like, yes, please come. Like, I just want to hear you call. Yeah. Like, please come. One thing that I learned, I call too much. Oh, really? I I think most people call too much. Um, Matt, which we were hoping to do a podcast with him and Locke, but uh, he kills a lot of birds. He's killed, as we mentioned before, I think a bird in 39 of the 49 states, yeah. right? And and he's working on, on getting the U S slam or is it North American, North American, where you kill one in each state. He kills like 20 birds a year. The dude is super diehard Turkey hunter. And 
And he does he like calls professional or calling competitions, right? He did one. He, his wife's trying to get him to do more, I guess, but he's mm. too humble. He doesn't think he's good enough, apparently. But he did one during COVID and got to fourth place. Won that round, but then they called him and he was disqualified because he didn't do a gobble. He actually beat the kid he was competing against, but oh, then they called man. and said, you didn't do a gobble, so you're disqualified. Anywho, mm. he he calls just a short, a short couple cuts, a yelp, pause, like 15, 20 minute pause. Like one yelp? One like, yelp. That's it. 15, yep. 20 minutes. That's it. Wow. And the second thing I learned, I call too loud. Oh. I'm like, rah, 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 rah. and some of the, some of the hens up like two weeks ago, my dad got a bird and the hens were freaking out like super loud yeah. and I would mimic them and they'd get ticked off and they would just like do, I counted one. She did 14 yelps in a row. I was just like, whoa, I've got her worked up. But I call really loud. Matt, super soft. To the point where I'm like, bro, nothing's hearing you. Yeah. Like, I promise you they're not hearing you. But they do. He'll, like, call. Jeez. Like, out there, right? So, those are two things. The last one that I learned, and it goes along with what you guys have said. I think there's a lot of guys out there who are passionate about hunting and who go hunting on the weekends because they have real jobs, yeah. right? Every nine, nine to five jobs, they love hunting. They go on the weekend and they get to a point where they can kill a turkey now and then, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The benefit of coming and going with somebody who does it for a living, whether it's turkeys or whitetail, yeah. is... The amount of knowledge they have and what you can glean from going with them, you're going to go back home and for the time that you do have, the precious time that you do have to get out in the woods and hunt, you're going to be way more successful. You're going to be able to utilize that time so much better by coming to a place like 180 Outdoors and going out with a guide who does it all the time learning how they call and how they set up and why they're doing those things and how they read the birds and what's going to go on. Like I am going to go home and be a much more successful Turkey hunter by far than especially, before I got here. With stuff that we're not used to, right? Like, yeah. Utah, it's not a huge Turkey state. Like no one grows up yeah. hunting turkeys is die hard. Obviously we don't have white tails. The species that we don't have, it's worth it to come do something like this, like you're saying. And for me, it's a little bit of an ego pride thing. Like, I don't want to be guided. Yeah, I neither did do I. I myself. Yeah, I'm good I don't need a guide. I'm good at this stuff. No, 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 not. no, dude. <laughs> no, yeah. You, you go out with somebody that hunts a species all the time. Oh, man. And yep. You can't not leave being benefited from it. It's so no. worth it. it yep. And it's fun. It's yeah. fun. But those are a couple of my takeaways. No, that's a, I like that last one because I've never really thought of it. <clears throat> I think a lot of people shy away from it. Like, eh, I don't want to get a guide. But, like, just because they don't want someone to hold their hand. But the idea that, like, you're actually going to be taught a lot. I don't know if yeah. people think of that when they go to get a guide. Yeah. Like, and I didn't oh, feel like Matt was time. holding her hand. Mm -hmm. I felt like I never he knew that he hand. knew the pro <laughs> Just, let's make I, that clear for Tyson's sake. <laughs> I, they know the properties. They are really good at what they do. And so they, I mean, Matt was always like, what do you guys think? What do you want to do? Like, should yeah. we try this one? Right. He, he wasn't just like, all right, come on. I know what we're doing. And he would totally ask for our thoughts and what we wanted to do. And it was it's cool. It's funny that yeah. you and Super your dad beneficial. were in the same position on that first day. Cause Schaefer and I were talking about it too, that we could have killed two birds day one. If the yeah. lock would have been with us the more that morning, because yep. lock or, or Al or any of them had been with us just for the simple fact of we got in there 
we went to the waypoint that Matt had shown us on the phone. We set up and we sat down and I sat long enough for my legs to kind of get numb. And so I just, so it was like 20, 30 minutes, just enough for me to sit up, resituate, get more comfortable to sit back down. And they lit up gobbling. Like it was like, it worked out perfectly, but it was also like me and Chafe in the dark gobbles around us. Now what? Yeah. Like, what do we do now? And I was like, should we call? And he's like, man, I don't know. Should we call? I don't know. Like, what? We, we were so timid about like, now, like, we're there. Now yeah. what? We were yeah. gone from home. Yep. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. we don't know what to do. Our and, birds are so call shy, it seems. Like, as soon as you call, they're like, oh, that, that's a human. Yeah. Did you, <laughs> I'm out. Did you guys end up taking a nap then? <laughs> that day. That yeah. day. Corey well, took a couple. So what was funny about that, though, is because of the scramble of not knowing what whether to call or not, we backed out and we're, th- we're thinking like, oh, let's resituate and just get back around to kind of like cut them off where they might be headed. Well, we're all, we're doing that. And then day two rolls around and we actually go with Locke. And we're like, oh, those birds were still in the tree when we pulled out. <laughs> like, yeah. We're looking at the clock and we're like, we're sitting here. Schaefer's literally watching these birds in a tree it's 7.20. They didn't pitch Something out like the that. first day yet. They were still, and we're like, we bailed <laughs> out. Nuts. We bailed out out of panic, not knowing what to do with birds still in a tree. And they were gobbling the most. And they were, it, was, <laughs> yeah, and it was just like so funny, the scramble of like, we really didn't know what the heck yeah. we were doing. Yeah. But <clears throat> that learning curve just got demolished the second day when we went with Locke. And then even more so with Al. Just, yeah. Having that experience there was like, man. That's awesome. So, That's awesome. Pays yeah, big, that man. mustache EJ, shows the wisdom. any takeaways? <laughs> That's what it is. Um, oh, I kind of had my takeaways earlier, but, I mean, the big thing is, yeah, always be a student. Like, just yeah. to kind of play on it, you know, what, what everybody's saying. It's it, it was, I don't know. I don't really have too big of takeaways because they never really – it was my first well, experience, yeah, and right? A lot, of, everything was a takeaway. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so, um, but it was amazing. Um, all the guides, super friendly. Matt, They're Matt Wanzer, all studs. Is uh, dude, Matt is dude. a yeah, a, the know, salt of the earth type uh, of human being. Yeah, it was really, really good just to get to know everybody, um, and you know, just kind of build relationships and. And have experiences, right? Yeah, I mean, that's incredible after experiences. All, that, that's and kind of what we're here it, to do. But this facility and the landscape and the area five star, where, awesome. yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's five star. It's it's super legit. And so they do, they do the turkeys, they do the whitetails. But then Tyson and Big Al, they run their wow. outfit out of. Uh, Missouri, Missouri, Missouri yeah. they do waterfowl here too. Yeah, so just yeah. super awesome. Like that's the I want to do that so bad. They do a ton of waterfowl. So, yeah, so if you want an incredible place to come hunt multiple Did species, guys, 180s outdoors. Uh, Tyson and Big Al's Harris. Yeah, Harris. Yeah, Harris. 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 So if yeah. you want yeah. killer. But they do, they do the waterfowl hunts here, too. Yeah, if you want yeah. killer waterfowl hunts, yeah. look up Harris. Yeah, yeah you got to. So huge thanks to 180 Outdoors yeah, and everybody involved. Time. It has been an awesome week, but... Ton of fun. Let's uh, get a couple of get a hours of sleep then, uh, and hit the road. <laughs> yep, hit right the road. So yes. Thanks for joining, folks. Hey, did I tell you we got the AC figured out? Yeah, I'm stoked for that. All right, that's the final recap of our turkey hunt in Southeast Kansas, chasing those thunder chickens with the boys from 180 Outdoors. Huge thanks to Locke Wheeler for connecting Canvas Cutter and 180 Outdoors together and uh, helping us make that happen. And a huge thanks to everybody at 180 Outdoors for letting us come and stay in the lodge. Amazing facility and to hunt those properties. It's a beautiful place. Remember, we are coming out with the hunt video of this just shortly after these episodes. So keep an eye out for that on the Cam's Cutter YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope that you find success in all your turkey adventures. Until next time. Bye.